All right, just got to the first spot here. Gonna try um, some different different tactics here for bass. Uh, I got some of the Senkos, uh, same thing as a Yum Dinger. Not sure which one you use, if you know either of them. Uh, really popular uh, to use though. I got some other uh, lures and stuff we'll try, but we'll see. Uh, it's a little bit, it looks like it's a little bit shallow over there. Uh, I try casting over there a bit and stuff. I'm not, honestly not too sure of the water temperature. Uh, I mean, it's been warm again down here, so. I'm not sure where we're gonna be at with that spawn, you know. It's a, but that springtime's good, good time to fish. So let's uh, get the line out, get some cast out, and hopefully catch a fish. Cause, well, that's what we're here for. I right, see. So here's how I hold the rod. Uh, just use these little pieces. There's a big Velcro roller just cutting the lengths, and I just strap it right down here to the the back handles here, and. Perfect. Fits in there pretty nice. I pretty much just put it in and that's what she said. And let it slide down into place about right there. It sits already pretty sturdy there and you put the Velcro straps on. That thing isn't going anywhere. Here's my little nifty uh, tackle box I use for out here. Show you everything I kind of got. And just got all, you know, hooks, sinkers, all that good stuff in here. I got all my different lures. Not all, but the ones I use, you know, we'll bring, I swap them out and everything. Once in a while, so I got those, and then here is all different, pretty much all Senkos. So that's uh, that's my setup for out here. Uh, hopefully something in there is going to catch fish. I also brought, it's, I got it like wrapped in tin foil and ice in, in a bag, so hopefully it cooled down a bit that, uh, man, what is it called? That Charlie's catfish bait, so you know, can't catch no bass, we'll throw some of that in. So we can just do some lazy fishing, just kick back, relax, and just drop the line. So we're gonna start with bass here. So let me get set up here and we'll get to it. All right, I'm not too sure what I am going to, to try out first here. I try this little, uh, I forget. I forget what they're called, the Strike Master, the is it Strike, no, Strike King is the company. I forget what they're called, but the exact lore, name of the lure, but little little guy here. I'm gonna start with that. Let's see, you know, see what we can do with that. I said we got other stuff to do. I'm uh, it's, it's a bit, it's a pretty calm day, so I'll probably try a uh, try out some Senkos too after this tricky part with them is just using a, uh, a bait caster I'm not the I know how to cast how to adjust them how to cast but sometimes when that one goes you have a light Senko on there it likes to likes to nest up on me so hopefully we can avoid that today but yeah let's see what we can do but here the rods just a uh, two-piece ugly stick GX2 and I got the Abo Garcia Zeta uh, bait caster on it. I actually I just switched to using a bait caster for the first time ever last year. Never used one before. Uh, it's not too hard. Definitely takes some getting used to. Just you know, just making sure you're doing your adjustments right. And as I said, I have some issues with lighter weights that when the wind can catch them and they're going and also blows them back at me. So I'm trying to you know work that practice on working that thumb a bit. And, but you know, shouldn't have too many big, too big issues here. I mean, this has some weight to it. We're down. As I said, it's a pretty calm day, so let's get get some cast down. And see what we can get going here. Fucking drag's all fucked up, but I got one. Seems pretty small, but hey, it's a fish. How the hell? How in the world? I just had this catfish 
attack my damn lure. Man, how? I have never, <laughs> I have never seen that before. Man, that's a bit surprising. Good thing I brought some pliers with me somewhere. Man, I was all excited thinking I was catching my first bass of the year. And caught a damn catfish on a lure, which, you know, I was gonna go do some catfishing, but not this way. It's gonna be tricky to get out. There we go. Oh. Well, caught a little catfish with a lure. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that today, but hey, it's a fish, so I'll take it. See you, bud. Gooey ass catfish. Oh, well, let's see if we. Oh, here. Let's see if we can catch a bass here. My drag was so out of whack there. Pretty close to shore. I'm gonna pop out here. I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try this tree, and then I'm gonna go down to those trees down there. Whoop! Well, at least it came out easy. I caught in that tree there. That was shit cast. I don't know what I did there. Oh, got one. Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. To the second catfish. I, I didn't even know this was like a thing. Like, yeah, I'm so baffled right now that I've caught two catfish. I was all tangled up. Using a damn lure. Man, what, how is this all tangled? So he got all fucking. I'll tangle it up in this thing. In the trees. All right, well, there's the first stop right there. I caught some fish. Not the fish I was expecting, not the fish I was going for currently, but we caught some fish. Um, 
I don't think I've ever caught a catfish with any type of lord jig, anything like that, um, for, that I use usually for bass fishing. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of a time. I didn't even know it was a thing. I mean, I, you can't really probably see too much, but you can, and I was up there and here. You can see how it's a pretty stiff drop off here. So I don't know if the catfish were maybe in holes or something and it just it was, just went by and they, you know, hit it. Uh, I don't think they were actively really hunting for it. That's just a guess of mine, no clue. I'm not a, uh, a catfishologist, so. No, that's not a term. I just made that up. But, but yeah, let's, we're gonna hit a different spot, go down the river a bit, and uh, hopefully catch some fish. I really want to catch a bass here, so let's see what we can do. Alright, so we're at the second spot here. Uh, there's the main part of the lake. So it's just a little cut, little cut in there. We've got this area. I'm gonna try right here. It's pretty, it looks like a pretty good drop off. Got some trees and stuff there. I'm gonna switch it up this time. I'm gonna do the Gary Yamamoto uh, Senko. It's the, that's a good question. What kind is it? It's the watermelon one. I don't know if it's watermelon only or. Oh, green pumpkin with some red flake, because who doesn't like some red flake? Anyways, that's what we're gonna use. Add a little bit of weight. I just put a split shot at the top of all my good on this here because I am lazy and don't like to retie shit all the time. And I was on a way bar, I'm not gonna carry multiple rides, even though technically I could carry two. Actually, I could do more than that. You know, we just gotta, you know, put your mind to it, you can do it. So here's the setup. I'm uh, gonna just throw this around and you know hopefully catch me that trophy bass and uh, decide to retire and become a professional bass fisher full time because yeah why not so yeah let's get to it and before I cast I should probably set it so I'm not bird nesting creating a nest for the birds don't want to do that Wolf further away than I'd like to be, but let's see if we can whip this thing out there. Nope, not as far as I wanna be. It's actually pretty heavy. I uh, I might take that split shot off, we'll see. See how quick I'm hitting bottom and dragging across shit. Once again, we're too damn close here, but and of course the wind's whipping. I'm gonna end up bird nesting, but I just put line on here, so we're gonna have plenty of line. And I just went over this log here. All right, we caught a log, biggest catch of the day. Let me get over there. I probably just ruined any fish at this spot. Yep, definitely. Let's just go. We'll go over here. Man. I just cast out real quick. I think, I don't know if it's a little. Let's see if I can loose. I don't know. You can see, I mean, it is a little bit loose in there. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. 
Or it also sat in my garage and the thing was filthy from the winch sitting in it all winter and me doing woodwork in there. I meant to lube it, but I didn't. So it could just, you know, be just spinning sawdust all around in there. I'm gonna go down there. I'm gonna switch. I'll try to put some heavier on, see if I can get a far cast off and to uh Honestly, get where it seems like it's catching up, loosened up, get it out, and get a nice tight, tight reel, reeling going. Take that off, throw it down there. It's new home. I also might just switch back to a, a spinning rod. So this, I, last year, I decided to try the bait caster and. It worked. I, I don't have issues with that, anything heavier, but I do seem to have some issues when I have any lighter lighter rigs on there. Um, maybe that's just a thing with them. Maybe it's just me. I'm going to lean towards the fact that it's probably just me. Um, I mean, I know people love them. I know it's pretty, you know, they are better, you know, if you know how to do everything right and whatnot. I mean, it's a pretty good reel I have. It's, I think I bought the... It's the, the Abu Garcia Zeta. I bought the rod and reel combo and it was like 200 bucks or something. But it's a one piece rod, which is tricky on the wave runner. So I put, that's why I just, you know, put the reel on the, uh, when I bought this ugly stick and swapped it out. But uh, maybe new year, new, new reel. Let's see if we can get going with this. I just, yeah, it's, it's, it might just need lube. Well, we're just overall cleaned out. I should, I mean, when I ripped the, I took, I replaced the line, put a new line on the other day, uh, since it sat all winter. And when I did that, I probably should have cleaned out on the inside too. I was kind of wiped all the dust off. There's a lot of shit in there. There was a lot when I cleaned it. So I made three S's kind of in here. Um, you can see it's really calm. It's a glass and the fuck it's a GoPro, right? She got the wind. I was like, I didn't break it, but you know. But yeah, I changed my mind. I was going, it's, it's already uh, 6.20 here. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna fish for a catfish. I'm gonna throw some of that shit bait in and see what we can catch. And yeah, so I got some rubber gloves because I ain't touching it with my hands. And we'll, we'll bait that up and drop it in the water and just relax and hope for a fish. So you see the sponge at the bottom. You got a treble hook, and then pretty much you just take all the bait and pack it in this tube here. So I got the bait. Let me get that real quick. Check this out. I, it was just sitting in the garage, so it was getting a little, you know, warm and uh, a little liquidy. So, I packed it on up. But, let me get this all unwrapped here. It's literally just a bag of ice that I wrapped in tinfoil. A lot of it. But it, hey, that's not bad for sitting in a sitting in a uh, like non insulated. It is a little water for this have a seal, but I mean that ice ain't bad. But this shit just stinks horribly. But here's the bait. Let me see if I can hold up the camera there. Catfish Charlie. 
shed that baits for and stuff some of that. And it smells like fucking shit, literally. It's horrible. But it's probably a good thing for fish. Oh yeah, it stiffened up a bit, which is good. Oh, the bad part is the, the juices are settled. I'll have to mix that up, but I'll put that right there. Seal up my ghetto cooler. Ugh. It literally looks like someone's shit in this cup. Plan worked though, they get cold and stiffened up, so. Ugh. Oh my god, it's like diarrhea. It's like when my dog eats all the damn treats and leaves a fucking present on the carpet. <laughs> No, it's not that bad, but it does stink. Okay, it is kind of bad. You can probably smell it through the video. All right. Well, I'm sure you guys don't give a shit rat's ass about me having to clean this shit up and pack it away, so. All right, we got one. That wasn't too long. It feels pretty decent. I'm recording here. It's not too big, but oh man, shot out there doesn't want to come up. Oh, he's got some strength to him. Not a bad one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. find my pliers if I catch a big enough one he's coming home for fucking dinner a treble hook that's gonna be hard to get out fuck it's just the fact of getting it out Ooh. okay these are all nasty all right got the line baited back up it's in the water uh, just chilling right there. Uh-oh. Uh, that was good timing, because I didn't want to lose my rod. Oh, fish is on. All right, it doesn't seem that, seem that big. Yeah, it's, it's feels it feels very small. I mean, it's coming right in. Oh yeah, there's a little guy. 
little guy was hungry. Get him off real quick, get rebaited again, and get another cast out there. Try to catch a big one. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, I he barely had him. Oh, there you go. Jeez. Couldn't even get get the little little talk in there. That was quick. Uh, so we'll rebait again. Sun's behind the trees now, so we don't have much time. Uh, but I'm gonna throw another one in for a couple minutes, see if we can get something big, and then we're gonna have to wrap it up here. All right, got the uh, got the next one in. It's all baited up. It's gonna be the last one for sure. So we'll see if we can get anything good here and uh, go from there. All right, guys, it's 7:30. Sunset's at 8:03. Got about a 10 minute drive or so, I'll get wrapped up here. Uh, nothing too exciting today. I did find it pretty interesting catching this catfish on on the uh, lures there, but um, caught some small ones in when I was actually going for them. I was just actually talking to some guys. They said uh, another lake we have nearby up north a little bit more is has some monster catfish that you take home. So I don't know, maybe I'll put that. Daniel Passaby is good for that lake too. So. But yeah, we're gonna wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, gonna be more of these as the weather's now warm again. I spent a lot of time out in the lake. We'll be at the range. We'll be doing some cooking. We'll be doing some, a lot of different things. You know, it's kind of, I don't have a main topic for this channel, so. But yeah, I'm just thinking of some, some things, uh, giveaways I wanna do. We're gonna be doing those. Uh, kind of just want to get some subscribers i can only i only obviously only have a few and then i can only see the ones that make them public so we're gonna do something um, but yeah appreciate you guys sticking around if you did if you're watching this even if you fast forward it enjoy your day your night whatever and uh have a good one